Hello, you beautiful people. I know y'all are so excited. Like, oh my gosh, she just own it. I know I told y'all I was going to start with these videos and we are here today. Now, you know, um, I always start off with my bio silk. I'm just going to get right into the video. This is a 26, 26 inch mink wig from my collection made with um three bundles and a closure i only did with closures frontals can go wherever the sun don't shine okay that's all i got to say now i blow dry i told y'all in every video that you have to blow dry your hair because if you don't blow dry your hair it's gonna still have that kink in it and you want a clean base because you want that caught that curl to hold Duh. okay you want that curl to hold so i just blow dry it as straight as i can when i straighten the wig i blow dry it more but for this i just try and get the waves out because we're curling it today you know so it doesn't really matter as much versus if i were to straighten the hair also, I didn't say this. Make sure the hair is saturated and moisturized. If the hair feels dry, it's going to look dry. I'm just letting y'all know. Um, that's, that's literally all I can say. If the hair feels dry, it's going to look dry. But if you think you put too much in there, just blow dry it out. It'll be fine. Don't grease it up. This ain't no, no scalp or nothing, but... Just make sure it's moisturized. See, see the luster? I know y'all see the luster. Okay. Now, Sebastian Shaper Spray, the GOAT, period. Nobody can, nobody, bro, I don't even, I don't even know how to say these words. Like, it's the GOAT. But one trick I've been doing lately is instead of, spraying the spray afterwards i spray it before y'all it makes a difference because i mean in my head this is what's going on it's actually holding each curl versus you know when you spray some hair it only gets i'll say like the outer layer of the hair but when you spray each row or in my case i go two tracks at a time two to three tracks at a time usually not three but two for sure at a time to curl and i spray those two tracks it's actually get on those two tracks versus it's getting on like the outer layer of the hair i hope that makes sense also always 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 curl each piece not curl i'm so sorry y'all <laughs> I've been drinking, obviously, but I'm just playing. It's it's five thirty, but um, always comb each piece before you curl it. Do not curl it frizzy because it's gonna look frizzy. If it look jumbled up, and you're a pro, you will know how to fix that. I wouldn't say I'm a pro, but I definitely know how to work a curling iron. Um, so yeah. This particular curling iron is in my Amazon list. I'm going to go ahead and link that below. I think actually this is the one and a half inch. It's the bigger one or maybe even two inches. I don't know. I just know it's thick. And I particu particularly don't like this one because it's a little big. I mean, I have to, I have to break it in. That's the only reason why I'm using it because... One thing about curling irons, you have to break them in. They're not going to be smooth and silky as soon as you get it. And I've definitely learned that because before I used to pay, y'all, one time I got that T3 curling iron. It's like $300. And I wanted it to be broken in, ready to go as soon as I get out the pack. Like, I'm paying $300. I feel as if it should be ready to go. But it definitely needed to be broken in. It probably is a great curling iron after a few months. But for, for $300 and I'm getting the same result that this $20 curling iron is giving. Mm -mm, I'm sorry. 
it it ain't it ain't for me but yes you see i'm spraying before sometimes i do spray after it just depends mostly i do that on the bottom rows because they are um they fall the most easiest because i'm like turning you know i'm turning the head around and it's been there the longest so some people like to like scrunch up the curl to make it hold i ain't about to do all that <laughs> Like, I, I be doing too many of these wigs a day to be doing all that. I'm sorry. But, yes, I'm just going to keep going through. And also, if you've noticed, you always got to go inner when you curl. You curl towards the inside. So, if you're on the right side, you curl towards the left. If you're on the left side, you curl towards the right. And that just makes it fall nicely. Everybody has their own opinion. My that's my opinion. If you do it the opposite way, it just be looking funky to me. But hey, to each his own. That's just I'm telling y'all what I like to do. And another thing is sometimes I I don't know, you just gotta play around when you're curling. Yeah, I I really sped this one up. Hold up. Oh, because I already showed y'all. I'm just curling the rest of the week. <laughs> I was like, okay, Janae. But sometimes I... <laughs> bro, this is throwing me off. <laughs> this ain't too fast. Sometimes I curl in the middle and then, like, go. If you see, like, I grab the hair and place it in the middle of the curling iron. It just depends on what you want to do, honestly. For longer hair, it doesn't matter too much to get the top. Just because it's long hair, like nobody's paying attention to the top. But if you want more volume, you definitely need to make sure that top is also curled. I'm talking about like the top of the track, not the top of the wig, the top of the track. But yeah. See, little curls. And y'all don't think I am a psycho. I'm really curling all this hair because this is the customer's wig. And I think I shipped it off that exact day. For every single wig I make, unless it's a wig that I'm just tired of making, to be honest, I will curl it or curl it. And then after I curl it, I comb it out or brush it out and then take pictures of it. And then I recurl the entire thing. So when people are like, girl, these curls are fresh, I know. Because I took my pictures and then I recurled it for you. You know, I could have been like, no. Because, of course, people don't even want the curl look. But I try to give what I can give. They want the wavy look. But what curl is going to last longer? Exactly. And y'all, please just don't mind my attire. This is my doing hair warm-ups. These are my favorite pair of warm-ups. Y'all know y'all got them favorite pair of warm-ups. It just throw on. They might have a little hole in it or two. Might have some paint on them. But they, they do what they got to do. And that's what these are. I saved the top for last. Um, the entire closure, pretty much. Not the entire closure, but most of the majority of the closure... I don't curl before I flat iron because if you flat iron after you curl, it sometimes makes you have to recurl it. So I try to remember because sometimes I'll be forgetting. I try to remember to um, not flat iron, to hot comb, hot comb. And y'all know what a hot comb is. I'm not going to explain that to y'all. We grew up on hot combs. This new generation don't know nothing about that. But that's what we did. Okay. Even on the wax, on the um, closure pieces, sometimes I do wax it, as you saw. Because that really helps with flyaways. If you just um, put some wax on there, the flyaways would just stay down. 
long time ago, I remember I used to freak out. I, I was talking to my cousin. I was like, what am I going to do about these flyaways? This girl going to hate the wig. And she's like, girl, if you don't put no wax on there. I was like, oh, my gosh. I can put wax on the hair. Like, it's like I never even thought of that. But if you have, like, flyaways, just get a wax stick. This one is Kara Kara's wax stick. But I know everybody and they mama on Instagram selling the dang on wax stick. I don't know how good they work, but I know Care Care is one I've been seeing since I was little. So I definitely trusted it. And so, yeah, I curled the whole wig. So I'm trying to just hot comb. You see, if you're going to hot comb last, just make sure you go with the hair so you don't have to redo it. And this is what you use to get a bust down part. You know everybody want a bust down. So get that spray and spray it. Now, I don't spray it so it looks like perf a perfect line because it's just it's not natural to me. But I spray it enough. Okay, I spray it enough. That's my finishing spray. It's a little mist. It's really just the smell. I just love the smell of it. But, and this why to comb I have on my website available for purchase if you want to get it. Also, this wig is available for purchase. But, yeah, the hair is, now, if your hair doesn't turn out like mine, one, you did not get a wig from me because if you did, it's going to turn out exactly like this. And, two, you did not cut layers into your hair because I always cut layers into wigs. You have to. Like, it's, it's a must if you want some curls. This is me just combing it out some more. Her name is Kelly. Isn't that cute for her? I was like, yes. Kelly, Michelle, Beyonce. I think I'm Kelly in real life. So, see the moves? Y'all know Destiny Child stole the moves from me. Okay, that's what they got them from. But this is me just trying on my client's wig just to make sure it looks good i do this on every wig so i know how it looks when it come out the box yeah y'all y'all can't tell me this ain't fire y'all can't tell me this ain't giving what it got to give it's really the hair it's the layers for me it's the skin for me i'm sorry and you see how the curls are, like, holding, but they're, like, loose? Because they got that brushable hold. Sebastian needs to sponsor me because that hairspray has that brushable hold. They have, like, three different levels, too. Just go check it out. You get at Ulta. You get at TJ Maxx. Go to Y'all, TJ Maxx is the GOAT for, like, hair supplies. Okay, let me stop talking. But yes, this is a three-one wig. I did the middle, the right, and the left part, and dash me. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. I love you guys. Stay safe out there and be blessed.